welcome back to another video um i just wanted y'all to check this video out and i wanted to share my personal response to this message right here researcher it's brazil russia india china and south africa other nations are joining too and they are all coming together and deciding that they don't want to use the u.s dollar anymore in the world so she said they don't want to use the u.s dollar anymore um, meaning they trying to upgrade to digital currency. So my question again, are they losing or are they winning? Um, they coming together. Yeah, how are the evil people easily to come together, but the good aware people um, make it so hard to just come together? Worst case scenario, this could mean two very horrible things. If they come together. One... The destabilization of the U.S. dollar, which means that our currency would no longer have the same value, or possibly World War Three. That is World War Three. We are in World War Three right now. It it does. They don't make the decision that it's gonna be a World War Three. We're already in World War Three. It ain't no World War One, Two, or Three. The war is that they're here. So the illusion that they gave us about this World War One, Two, and Three, that's an illusion. The war is that they're here and they're destroying the planet and the people and the children that were here that create that helped created the work the on um, the realm. It's simple as that. They got us feeding into this World War Three and all of that. All of that is marketing, I believe. Hashtag World War Three, and then they we we up we upload video footage of what takes place during world war three all of this video footage and digital digitization um methods and stuff like that all of that is part of their new system it won't be no more pages and books and stuff like that it'll be digital but they need a system an online light system dealing with led lights like you're looking at right now that's flickering lights they, they need a system um that's gonna be able to sustain um that system like the satellites the towers they need stuff like that to provide a light system they won't be no more uh soon it won't be no more books and stuff like that everything will be digitized but it, it it has to be it has to happen at a process um it ain't gonna happen overnight but the thing is that they're they're uh working on doing it and we're up here uh participating and building it for them both of those are very terrifying possibilities. So what are you going to do to protect yourself and your family? Are you prepared? Do you have enough food and water? Do you have a plan in place? Uh, do we have enough food and water? They're poisoning the water. And what are we doing about it? They're killing us, but we're not killing them. You can't really prepare for such a situation if they already done conquered. They already done conquered us. We're basically in a slow death phase. We eat poison. We're dying slowly. And then they just scoop up our bodies and they feed us back to our people. By creating these different meats that they tell us on Beyond Burger and all of that. They just feeding us back to each other. And we thinking it's a, a whole new a whole new thing. Like this is plant based. Yeah, it's plant based, alright. We are nature. And then they use our bodies and they make it into a plant base you see what i'm saying <laughs> it's hilarious place well preppers like me have been preparing for something like this for years we were prepared when covid hit and the grocery stores were going crazy so i need you to also be prepared it's hard to prepare and then knowing all like our the ones before us the ones who created this realm and stuff like that how did they prepare? Did they prepare for such an invasion? You see what I'm saying? Mind you, they conquered us now. Why didn't we prepare for such an invasion to even take place? I think that people are not realizing that um, for one, you can't do nothing alone. And two... It's just as simple as that. We've been conquered. Like, it ain't no other way around it. Like, 
these places that um these tribes and undiscovered places they're going to be conquered too if they keep working together and using their armies and bullets and stuff like that they just haven't chose to get them yet but if they feel they need that spot they will send some troops over there like they did in avatar they sent jake sully to get into those people's tribe and we haven't realized that for one we're not even watching movies like avatar because we think it's a, a, a distraction we think it's fake and all of that but they literally showing us how they got us they they be sending um these so-called white people over there in africa and and they'll have like candy and stuff like that and they'll have the african tribe people to try the candy and they'll literally welcome them in too like it's crazy like 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 i told y'all they use like the dude spider from avatar 2 they used him to spy they used jake sully to spy and it worked all they got to do is just send somebody that looks like them over there or or say basically the phrase we come in peace or show you know so, you know what i'm saying because we so much of a welcoming nice people um long as there's no bloodshed and stuff like that they're gonna welcome them in just like the reef people the reef people in avatar 2 they welcomed their brothers and sisters in but they had to be screened why you here you see what i'm saying even if they were the same um complexion <clears throat> this goes for all species or whatever but yeah that's just my insight on it so far so this is actually the perfect time for the launch of my new book, The Beginner's Survival and Prepping Manual, that's going to teach you how to prepare, how to be a prepper, as well as wilderness survival and fire safety for your kids. It will be available in both ebook and paperback copies. Only way it'll be available in ebook if this system, um, if the grid stays up. If the grid goes down, there will be no electronic nothing. So that's the thing. That's what I'm saying. These beings, <laughs> like, oh my God, they just keep building, bro. Like, and we not destroying them fast enough. They destroying us fast enough, so they can keep their system. Long as they maintain the population and stuff like that. Long as they maintain the sheep, they ain't got to worry about being destroyed. Cause they gonna they gonna keep building. We gonna keep building it for them like some idiots. <laughs> That's the only reason we got TikTok, cause cause of them. They little grid system. Um, and there's really no preparation for something like this. Is the preparation is to prepare to beat their ass, um, and get them off the planet. That's the only preparation that we can have. Like I told y'all before, in all of my community p posts, all my videos, even in real life, to my to my um people that I run into or whatever. They have to get off the planet. They have to leave. They're no longer welcomed. Because they're destroying the planet. We're At this point, we're only preparing to sustain a life in an artificial environment. That's the only prepping that we're doing. When it shouldn't be that way. But since we so separated. We so separated. And not together. Not united. To a point we think that it's impossible to even change what these beings have done. So in result, we continue to comply and deal with the madness just to survive, just to avoid bloodshed. <clears throat> you see what I'm saying? Because they can't kill all of us. But long as they can get some people to, to comply and they don't, you know, cause mass bloodshed like they did before. Because I believe they, they had to do bloodshed. They had to kill off so they can lower the vibration of the realm and the people and get a certain amount of people in fear. If they see that they, they, they can do this to these people and they see it, they'll be traumatized. And they can repeat the process and they'll be more traumatized. And therefore, they will be beat into submission. Not just physically beat into submission, but mentally. And that's what's taking place. Now we're complacent. Now we just want to make money through the, throughout their digital systems and stuff like that. Just to survive and just to avoid bloodshed. 
when they don't even have to do bloodshed killings anymore. They can just get you from the mental now. They've already accomplished um, the physical part of the war. They beat the fight out of us. We not fighting like we should anymore. Instead, we're fighting each other. And that's the problem. We fighting the wrong people. We fighting each other instead of fighting the enemy that, that created this created this situation to where we're in this position. <clears throat> and that's how I view it. Hopefully I use the right terms that y'all can understand. Um so yeah that's all I got for right now. I'm about to get ready for this stupid job. Cause I gotta maintain bills because I don't have no help to fight this war that we are in that we don't even <clears throat> collectively know we're in. So yeah, it's sad. <clears throat> and we still thinking that this World War Three, they call they're calling it World War Three. The Great War has already happened. They killed, they saw, <clears throat> they saw, they came and they conquered. And they still doing it. They conquering more. And now they doing it through a different method. <clears throat> Using mental techniques. Programming, repetition, trauma, uh, controlling the resources. If you control the resources, then the people are the resources or, or the source. Because a resource is something that you can reuse. It's a resource, a repeat. Source is unlimited. So they can, so resources can constantly be used. You see what I'm saying? Just like when we die, our bodies go back to earth. The, the sea gives and the sea takes. And we are in a sea. This is a sea world. That's why I believe Moses dealt with the seas. That's why he parted the seas. But that's, you know, that's a different story. And um, according to Brother Sanchez, because he the one put me onto that information, Mo Moses is more seas, more water. He parted the sea. And then, you know, but see, if you look at like look at it from this perspective, because this is what he had in his video. And again, I, I just like spreading the message. Um, the part in the sea, the middle, the middle section of the sea is like your brain, the brain in your head. You see what I'm saying? And and our brain sits in water. It sits in fluid. Fluid is water. You see what I'm saying? It's a water based fluid. Um, and that's why our brain sits in water. You know, your brain wouldn't be able to function if it didn't have no water. <laughs> we dried in the mother. But, um... Yeah, the, the parting of the sea, the left side of the sea represented the left hemisphere of your brain and the right side of the sea represented the the right side. You see what I'm saying? So it's all subliminal. All these different personifications they don't put in the Bible and stuff like that. They've been showing us. But we just were so dumbed down to a point where we took it literally. But they're all just representations and metaphors and stuff like that. You know, so yeah, like I said, the great invasion, the great war had existed when they first when they first came here. That when they when they created these radios and stuff like that, that they, they had already planned it. They had already planned it, but we didn't prep for it. You see what I'm saying? Now they got us illusion prepping. We we prepping for stuff like to my food shortages and all that. Earth never stops producing food. So, but now they don't got so far in, they got us thinking that a food shortage is a, is a thing. Yeah, food poison is is going to maybe shortage or limited because it's not really no food shortage. All of this poison that they got existing, it's not that it's going to just go. I mean, it has to be consumed, but see, that that's the thing. You know, I'm basically just freestyling off the brain right now. Um, Like... As of right now, if they if the system shut down, all of the stuff that they got in these factories right now, it's still going to be here. It's just that it's just going to be there, and are we going to be able to access it? All we have to do is share the poison. But it should be a good thing that there are, there are going to be food shortages or food poison shortages because that's all it is. Again, we have seeds. 
did they say anything about a seed shortage? They not talking about seeds being seeds being shorted. When they say food, they talking about like canned goods, um, these different companies, rich crackers and stuff like that. <clears throat> but they ain't say nothing about the seeds. They know seeds are infinite. Plants and vegetation is infinite. You see what I'm saying? But they don't program us to, to you know, <clears throat> take on my alarm. Program us to eat a certain food that's detrimental to our health. <clears throat> um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about. So again, I say like, how can we prep? How can we prep for? Something when when they literally control damn near everything. They control the air. They control the water. They controlling the resources, making us buy the stuff. I don't know. What's y'all thoughts? Either God signing out. Peace. Thank y'all for listening. <clears throat>